Finally, inside this module, let's look at how Amazon pay you, or what they are called in this business, disbursements. Every time a customer places an order on the Amazon platform for your product, they will obviously make a payment. After payment is complete and the products have been dispatched to the customer, Amazon places the money into your payments account. This is then collated and disbursements are sent to you every 14 days. Before the amount is dispersed, Amazon will remove the fees that they are due from you for all of those collated sales, as well as any other relevant charges, such as subscriptions or storage. The funds will be sent by Amazon automatically to the bank account associated with your account. If there is no account associated, then the funds roll on into the next period. This automatic transaction usually takes about two to three days to go from Amazon into your bank account. Should your associated account be in a different currency to the one that is local to the marketplace, for example, let's imagine you had a UK sterling Great British Pounds account but were selling in the United States in US dollars, then those dollar amounts would be converted by Amazon automatically into Great British Pounds and deposited into your UK sterling account. At any stage, you can check on what the current balance of your disbursement is by going into the report section from the main menu inside your Seller Central account. Then select the sub-menu option of payment. You will also get a snapshot of the current balances at the top of area three to the right of the home page. Remember, we looked at this earlier in the module. When you see the payments report, you will see that Amazon take their fees at point of source before remitting any funds to you. It makes sense as the sales have already been made and paid for, as well as already being dispatched. It also removes the requirement for you to remit money back to them, which causes more administration. It's a very good system. Amazon takes fees such as promotional rebates, if you have run any two for one offers or money off coupons, or if they have run a discount promotion. Don't worry if it's their promotion as they credit you back in another section. They take Amazon referral fees, the percentage you pay to Amazon when a sale is made on their platform, calculated by the category specific percentage applied to the sales price. They take Amazon FBA fees, the amount paid to Amazon for shipping out the goods to the customers, calculated by the size and weight of the package. They look at uh, refunds, pretty simple one. If any customers return their purchase in a resellable condition, they will be refunded. They take away subscription fees, any subscription you may have with Amazon, such as your seller account. They take away storage charges. These are charges relating to the physical size of the product stock that you have at their warehouses, worked out by the actual size applied to the rate of storage cost. There's a pay-per-click charge. Now, as you can see, this one um, is something that's very simple. You can either have these funds removed from your disbursements, or you can elect to have a credit card on file to pay these. A little heads up for you, at the very start of your sales journey, Amazon may put a temporary or partial hold on your disbursement funds. This is totally normal. Basically, they are vetting you as a supplier and wanna make sure that you are trustworthy and that you provide a level of service to their customers. Any funds that are held are moved into the next disbursement until such time as they release the hold. Normally, it only takes a few months before everything moves to normal disbursements.